Hey everybody, KC here. So listen, I hope you had a great weekend. I enjoyed my extended weekend. A little hot outside, but it was great to sit outside, read a book, you know, throw things to the dog, stuff like that. I'm always fascinated by when businesses are able to adapt to new circumstances. And, and you know, some of them imposed by the, the, the COVID and some other circumstances as well. There was a story in the New York Times recently about a barber uh, in uptown Manhattan who, you know, sort of realized that, first of all, people had not been getting their hair cut because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um, and also a lot of people were out of work. So what he decided to do is on Sundays, he takes his barber, he take, goes out to Central Park, sets up a little chair and says he'll cut people's hair for free. He'll take donations, but basically he's happy to cut people's hair for free. And I think that's kind of cool. I've, I've noticed a lot of stories um, around the country about people who are, uh, you know, do uh, barbers who are moving their chairs outside because they recognize people don't really want to sit inside and have their hair cut because they're a little worried about getting infected. So they're moving their chairs outside onto the sidewalk and they're cutting hair there. It's all about adapting to new circumstances. We've been really lucky. Um, the woman who cuts our hair, basically, you know, uh, she's willing to come over and she does this for lots of people. She comes over to people's houses and cuts their hair in the backyard. We're all outside, we wear masks and it's all great. And we managed to we managed to get our hair cut and she manages to kind of have a, just a different sort of a business model. I think that's what companies have to do. They have to change their business model to adapt to new circumstances. And I'm gonna show you what happens after they, after they do that. And here's the good news. She has a new business model and I got a haircut. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I wanna hear what's on your mind.